hello welcome back to another video in this video i will show you from start to finish how to create and publish your very first notebook on amazon kdp my name is rose kareto and i create videos on how to make passive income from the comfort of your home or any location you choose using only a laptop and an internet connection so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is come on to if you're brand new that is you want to come on to kindle direct publishing website where it all starts and you will click on here to get started but before we do that um just for those who probably are completely brand new let me bring you to where you can navigate to get to that page so you need to come to google put in kdp just at the top search bar and most likely the very first choice will be what you click on and that will bring you on to this page now what's so interesting about self-publishing as an independent publisher is that you are able to access the massive amazon marketplace that's got now over 10 different countries and you're able to earn up to 70 percent royalties on all your sales without ever having to print ship or do customer service yourself so amazon does all the heavy lifting for us and our books are distributed in the us canada uk germany india the list goes on so feel free to come onto this page and just look around and learn what this business is able to do for us it's a great opportunity especially in the times we are in so to get started all you want to do is um, click here and this will lead you onto a page where you would need to enter your details and if you already have an amazon an existing amazon account it could be a retail account you might see this option here to sign in and use the same account if you prefer so once we move on from the registration um i just want to bring you to the amazon.com marketplace that's where majority of my sales happen anyway and most of the kdp sellers would say the same so i thought we'll just come here and search florona book journal for women that's what i was looking for us to do today as an example but just to show you how to navigate this um i prefer to search under books the option that you get when you come to amazon.com pages usually all departments that's what amazon automatically gives you so you want to specify books and then if you're looking to publish a notebook you want to come onto the search bar and probably have a look around and see what exists under the product that you're looking to publish now just to give you a bit of a an idea of the differences of the, the different books that you come across there will be what is called a dependently published book so if you look under publisher you'll see it says independently published that means it's an individual just like me and you who will probably be sat at home and creatively just design a book that they can sell on Amazon. But if you see something with a spiral binding like this, that most likely is a huge company that's doing their own um, publishing, shipping, packing, and customer services. So that's an independent business. So you probably will be able to compare like to, to like especially if you're doing your research to see what's selling on kdp you probably don't want to pay too much attention to the spiral bound books because those belong to huge companies with a massive budget to do everything and so they might be misleading if you actually use that as your research so just to give you an example let's go back to this one this is actually a Chrome extension that is free and I'm going to do a whole video on free Chrome extensions that make your work so much easier if you're researching on the Amazon platform. So if I click on this book just to get an idea of what an independently published book looks like, it's a simple cover there 
very specifically they are targeting people who love cherry blossom and it's only a notebook six by nine 120 pages lined notebook they seem to have a the first cover where it says this book notebook or this book belongs to so and so so people put their name on there but most notebooks even when you visit bookshops you will see it goes straight into the lined blank pages where the user can put in whatever they want to write and the back page is just a simple one as well that sort of coordinates with the front cover so that's something close to what we're going to be doing today we're going to keep it simple and just to get you into the process of publishing from step one to uploading your book so we're going to keep things simple and straightforward today so it's a follow along video that's the plan i've got so if you've got some time get to your computer follow along and by the end of this video we can hopefully have your first book proudly published and available across the millions of customers that amazon has accorded us as as independent publishers right so the next step is to come on to Canva, click on create a design and we want custom size. And because we are making a six by nine inches book, you want to always make sure that this is on inches. And to get our width and height, there is an amazing tool that Amazon provides for us. It's called KDP Cover Calculator. So once you put that on Google, the very first option will lead you to this page and it's made by kdp themselves which is fantastic and this is where you come in and enter your details we're making a paperback today that's already pre-selected for us it's an interior type of black and white pages and the paper type we want is white paper um the turn direction that might be confusing to you but just put left to right that's how you turn the pages and measurement units is in inches and the trim size is six by nine inches and the usual the most common page count for a six by nine usually it's about 120 pages and then you calculate your dimensions now that's what comes up it sort of explains where your book gets cut off so to make sure that everything that you want to show up on your book like your design your text should always be within the white area but you don't even have to worry about that the main thing we need here is just this really uh, the full cover width 12 by 5 well 12.52 width in inches so i'm going to copy that and then come back to our Canva page, enter that. We go back and get the height. That's 9.25. Uh, if I can copy that. <laughs> 9.25, command C, come back here and enter our measurements and then create our new design with those dimensions. Brilliant. We are ready to start creating and designing our six by nine book cover so the next thing you want to do is come here and click on elements and like i said canva provides a lot of free design elements and features and so as you can see there are some that i've recently used and what we want to do today we're just keeping the notebook really really simple straightforward I'm just going to show you an example of just a floral notebook. We're going to go with a floral one. But before we proceed, if you see this little crown here and it says pro, those are the paid uh, elements. So you need to be a paid member to be able to use those. But the beauty here is we've got loads of choices of freebies that we can use. And I'm going to choose that one. So what you want to do is... Bring this all the way to the left hand corner and stretch it to as far as you can go without it losing its design element. 
And because it won't actually fully cover the canvas, what I normally do just to, to retain the best features of my floral notebook is I will go to the halfway mark. Now this software Canva is amazing at giving us guidelines on things like, you know, where the halfway mark of a book is, how to center our text, which I'll come to in a minute. And so we know that red or pinkish line marks the halfway point of my book. So what I can do now is duplicate that and bring it to the next page and try and match it as closely as possible so that this design sort of looks complete. And what I can also do is zoom that in a little bit just so that I can see it a bit more clearly. But one thing you will notice is there will be a little white line there because that's a middle line. And that's what brings me to the next thing that I want to show you. I want to show you where to get your design templates for a six by nine. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So you come on to this software here. It's also free. It's called Book Owl. And you when you click on Book Owl Index or you go straight to your KDP cover template, it doesn't actually matter. Just go to the website straight away and you'll come onto this website. Now, this is where we will get our actual template for the book size that we are creating. Now, we are creating six by nine inches, but to be sure, you want to come in here and enter those details. So the width is six by nine. We went for 120 pages, it's white pages. And SBN, ISBN is optional. Amazon provides that for free for us, so we won't have to worry about that. So once you've entered all these details, the next thing you want to do is enter your email address and click that option to um, give them the consent to email you. And then you click email cover template. And what you'll be able to get is a template that you can actually use to make sure that the book you just created is actually going to have a spine and it's going to be the correct measurements. So let's come back to our book. And I've already downloaded a few templates that I've used in the past for my book creation. That's an eight by five. And this one is a six by nine. So I've already gone through that step. I've downloaded and, up and uploaded it to Canva just for use for all my book creation. And the one thing I like to do is always bring this to the left hand corner and then just stretch it. So the next thing we want to do is design a spine for our book. So I've just clicked on one of the shapes that we selected from the elements, which is a square, but we just want to shape it into a rectangle, thin, long, rectangle to actually fill up the space for the spine all the way down and if you like you can actually make that even a bit more thinner just close enough to the margins shown on our template right so what you want to do next is to make sure we try and coordinate the colors just to make a really striking design beautiful and attractive to our customers because the book cover is really, to be honest, what first sells your book when it's listed on Amazon. So I'm going to use a free Chrome extension called a pick, a color picker. And I want this color to be what we use for our spine. So I'm going to change the gray to the color we just picked for my paste. That didn't quite work. Let's go back. So we want to paste that color and that becomes blue. So we're getting closer to it, but we still have to have a title on our front cover. So I like to delete the template because we, we're done with the template. We don't need it anymore. And just align that properly. 
So what we have left to do now is just to add a text onto the top of this page. And I'm just going to go with that font, delete that bit. And this is obviously huge. It has a huge. <laughs> I want a text that says a book. But that's still massive. So we want to reduce that to size just so that it does look right. And put it about there. What I like to do is just stretch it out to fit on one line like that but it's still quite large so I'd bring it in a little bit and try and eyeball it to the middle of the page thereabout um, not exactly to the middle of this length of the page but just about a third way from the top now that obviously is not a visible font color so we're going to do a few things with that we're going to go to effects and I'm going to add a background. That's the first thing I want to do. And I'm going to reduce the spread of my background a little bit. I just thins out the edges so that it's not too much white space left around the notebook. That looks a little bit okay. I'm going to bring it in a little bit, Let's make it a little bit smaller. That's it, but I'm still not happy with that color. I don't think it's going to stand out on Amazon when it's listed. It needs to be something that stands out and someone can actually read it, even if it's um, in thumbnail. So that looks a little bit better, coordinated with uh, the colors in the book. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our complete book cover and what we want to do now is download that and we want to do it in not png but i like to do it in pdf print high quality download that and we will be ready to upload it onto amazon but that's after we've got our interior done so the next step is to get our interiors you'll be pleased to know that our interiors will come from a free software again. Uh, there's a paid version of BookBolt, but they're kind enough to give us some free interiors for our KDP books. So you wanna come onto Google and uh, search for BookBolt, and the first option is what you want to click on, which brings you to this page. And um, you then come onto resources, and we want the interior wizard. So click on that and then click on that again, the interior wizard, and voila, there we are with a lot of choices of interiors. Now, the ones that are grayed out, it does say clearly members only. So as you advance in your KDP business, you might want to come and check out this paid version of this software. But for today, we just want to use a simple lined interior which is available for free and so we want to do it with no bleed that just means um, the lines don't extend to the edges of the book and you could choose with bleed but for notebooks i find they look better with no bleed and you'll see what that means in a minute okay so page count you want 120 pages and download your interior. So we've got 120 pages, all free and ready for us to upload on Amazon. We have our book cover already done and downloaded. And now we are ready to do the final step, which is actually uploading our book onto Amazon. Alrighty, so the next and our final step is to come onto KDP website and upload our book onto Amazon. So you could either be working on a Kindle ebook, which is not what you're doing today. You have hardcover, which is fairly new, and that's an option for us. 
but this is where we normally would start if you're a beginner we are ready to start publishing our book you want to go for english language unless of course you're publishing for a different marketplace there would be all different options of languages you can use but in this case for this particular example we're going to go with english language um, book title normally would be what appears at the front of our book and in this case it only says notebook simply so that's all we need to have on the cover of our book but for the subtitle this is where you really want to maximize the opportunity of your book being found by using uh, relevant keywords as many of those as you can and so I decided to just do something ahead of time just to save us time and I'm going to talk you through it but I'm just going to copy that copy paste it in then we'll talk about that um, and mainly what I'm doing here is just looking at the actual notebook and putting in what the book actually is so floral journal for women and girls with lined paper for writing so they know it's lined it's for writing cute gift and it's got pink yellow flowers it's nature um you know it's it's, it's nature oriented and it's got patterns to it and how did i come about all these keywords i'll just give you a quick tip um and you can see these are previous books that i've researched before but if you come to amazon and you put just your first keyword notebook and then you put space probably want to search under books let's see if we get more options that way so you put notebook space not very much comes up but there is a an extension a chrome extension that is free and it's called amz suggestion expander and that's one of the bonus tips i want to give you here so now that i've switched it on if i go and say notebook you can see it's extended from just the three or two that amazon gave us it gives us all these different choices here so these are all keywords that you can actually use in your listing uh, in your metadata when you're listing your book so there's notebook journal for women flowers art journal for women inspirational and just make sure obviously it's relevant you don't want customers being disappointed by reading the titles and subtitle and then finding the book doesn't have any inspirational quotes for example so just be careful what you go for it needs to be relevant so these are all amazing keywords that you can pick and choose and like I said, it needs to relate to your book. Right, so what we want to do now is we will continue filling in our keywords. I will do another video just covering um, the free Chrome extensions that you can use to help you with your keyword search. Right, so moving on, you don't want to, you don't need any of this edition numbers. It's optional. I never ever use that author's name so whatever name you want to go with sometimes it can be a pen name or if you want to publish books that you eventually want to brand as your own name entirely up to you but most people use pen names you want to be sure that it's not in use and it's not a branded copyright um, brand for another big company because i could get you in trouble um, so if you've got any contributors who are helping with writing your book, this is usually not common with low and no content books, so that's not relevant. Description, this is where you want your customer to know more about what you have designed and just highlight some of the features of your book that will make them make a buying decision. So I'm just going to quickly fill in that and then I'll talk you through it in a minute right to save us some time on this video because I do want to have a very very long video I have gone ahead and filled in the description for us and I'll quickly talk you through my reasoning and how I got about I go about this now the description should be something that attracts your buyer most people may not even read it most buyers won't read it but you never know so I've said something to the effect that just 
describing my book, this beautiful floral notebook can be used to write as a personal journal, diary, composition book, perfect for note taking. I'm just giving them an idea of what they could do the, with the book. And, and this opens up the mind of the customer, I think, if I was buying the book and I read this, you know, I'll start thinking outside the box and think, oh, I could even, you know, use it for doodling and making lists and journaling and brainstorming and all the rest of it. Most importantly, it's good to give your customer an idea of what they're getting. It's 120, wide lined, white pages, perfect size, six by nine, just small enough to carry around if need be. And it's a matte soft bound cover and all the rest of that. Right. Next stage is you own the copyright to this book. Now, this part on keywords confuses a lot of people. And it is so, so important to understand why keywords will either make the difference between your book being found on Amazon or being buried into page 100 where nobody will ever find it. Now, I'm going to click, before we talk about the keywords, I've already put them in anyway. And as you can probably see, most of them are just relevant to, actually all of them are relevant to my book. And I did give you one tip. I did say there are free tools like AMZ Suggestion Expander. Also, the search bar on Amazon.com. When you put in the keyword notebook, it will bring up a lot of these words. But the main thing I want to point out for you, just so that it's easier for you to do any niche book and put the right keywords, is something people, most people don't actually pay attention to this part and a lot of videos I've watched on YouTube have been wrong about this where they get people to repeat their keywords uh, title subtitle um, and this back end keywords some people will just use the same keywords over and over again and I guess that's why Amazon has added this part for us I'm not going to read the whole thing you can always come back here and read what it says but I'll tell you a part of it you can enter keywords or short phrases that describe your book and are relevant to its content. The best keywords are those that do not repeat words in the title, in the category or description, as these are already used to help readers find your book. Another chance we have to get our book found is on the categories. Now, choosing categories, sometimes it can feel quite like a minefield. And you might think, oh my gosh, where do I click? Where do I go? And sometimes it takes a long time. And there are some tools that have been developed by um, some brilliant people, software tools that will help us to make it easier to find the most relevant category for our books. And um, for me personally, I always start with just nonfiction. And I think everybody doing low content and no content books, they will always fall under nonfiction. And um, then you will have to decide whether it's a Nazi book, like coloring books and all of that. Um, but just to save time, I'm going to fill in this part and I'll come back and I'll tell you how I, my thought process was. Right, so I have gone and filled out this part and I want to just talk you through um, my reasoning behind what I found. I won't take too long because obviously this is just an example of a notebook, but it's good for you to have a thought process behind it. So I went for nonfiction. We will always be having our books under nonfiction as KDP books because they are either low content or no content. So it'll never be fiction because you're not actually putting any text or writing a full on book. Um, so it always will start with nonfiction and then you can narrow down to whatever seems most relevant to the niche that you've gone for. Anyway, so I went for nonfiction, language arts, disciplines, composition and creative writing. And juvenile nonfiction is also very relevant. Juvenile just being young adults. Language arts, general writing. That's what I settled for. Next step is to make a choice here. Yes or no. Does this book contain language adult content? No. Save and continue. And that brings us to get a free KDP ICBN. So assign me a free ISBN number. And then you move on. Publication date is always 
it's optional, but it, you know, it, if we don't put anything here, it will be the date that the book was published. It'll be automatically what comes up. We're going for black and white interior for this kiss, white paper. Six by nine is what we chose. And we went with no bleed, if you remember the manuscript that we downloaded. And I find that most journals and notebooks normally will have a matte um, paperback. Right, now it's time to upload our manuscript. We want this one, 31st March. It's no bleed, 120 pages. And we give that a moment to upload. Next is to, um, so you've got two options here to upload the um, book cover. You can either use IKDP1 that's got um, use cover creator to make your book cover. So you can use a KDP cover creator to make your book cover or you can upload yours and this is the option we want. So the manuscript is already up and ready. So let's click on that to upload our cover file. We want this 31st of March. Open that, give it a moment to upload. And the next thing we want is to, the next thing is to launch preview. And what this step does is just to preview what we've already uploaded to make sure that everything is looking as it should before we hit publish. Right, we are almost there. Our book is on print previewer and everything is looking good. Normally, Amazon will tell you under quality checks, if something's wrong, you'll see a little red highlight somewhere at the corner, sort of like an exclamation mark. But all's looking good. And we see our lined manuscript just as we uploaded it. 120 pages and we are ready to approve. So you hit on approve and we look through the full page to make sure everything is looking fine. And here Amazon tells us how much it's going to cost us to print our book on the various marketplaces. And then we save and continue to the next page where we're going to be setting our pricing. Now it's already pre-selected all territories worldwide, right? So I normally never change that. Uh, primary marketplace it's up to you, but my books normally will sell mostly in the U US. So I like to let that location remain as Amazon.com. Typically, I start off my notebook and journals at six ninety nine, and Amazon is, has got a very clever tool here that fills up all the rest of the marketplaces. And, you know, you could scroll down and just make sure you're happy with how much royalty you're making um, in every marketplace. We see in Australia, it's less than a dollar. And to be honest with you, I always like to make at least a dollar in every marketplace. So I've just changed that to 9.97. So I'm at least making one pound, uh, one dollar. 23 pence. Everything is looking all good. Final and most exciting stage is just to click publish your paper book book. This is exciting. Our book in about 72 hours will be available to millions of Amazon customers all over the world. And there it is. Your paper book has been submitted. So at this stage, we just need to wait uh, for up to 72 hours for it to be available for purchase on Amazon. And that can even be quicker than 72 hours, I found. So all looking good. And our book is in review. And Amazon will email us when it's all ready to go. So just make sure the email that you have used on Amazon is active and you're checking on it because if there is a problem with your book, they will send an email very quickly to let you know to come and rectify that. Great. Thank you for watching. If you've watched this far and you found any value, please 
subscribe and like this video it helps others to find this content but if you also want to see the rest of the videos that i get to do in this series i will be doing uh, one on keywords searches and i'll be doing one on free tools that will help you to up your game on amazon kdp so there'll be a lot of videos coming in to help you on the next stages in your amazon business so if you want to see more of that you can hit the notification bell so you know when i publish the next video thank you for watching go and make this happen all right bye now